Kristen, get right in there. We want DTV's making of story for the fashion show to be epic. Great idea asking Jack to be the choreographer. She's amazing. She is, isn't she? Ow! You love Jack. Hey, cute stuff. Hi. You haven't seen Imogen's designs yet, have you? What do you think? They're nice. Yeah. The theme's old Hollywood glamour. Well, then they're perfect. <laughs> OK, I got to go. They were not listening to me when I said, I said, extend your arm. I'll see you later. Yeah, for sure. She hates them. What are you talking about? She just said they were nice. Nice is bad. Nice is dull. No, you're wrong. They're classic like we talked about. Classic is just boring wearing a tuxedo. I need to change them. Just because you think Jack may not like them? Because I need these to be amazing. Do you know how many millions of hot, cool girls are lined up to date her? Hey, you're overreacting. I just want to tweak them so they're a teensy bit more haute couture. They'll still fit the theme, right? Yeah. Pinky swear. Just don't go too crazy, okay? The fashion show's today, and it means a lot to me that it goes well. You have absolutely nothing to be worried about. with somebody I oh. want to feel the yeah. heat with somebody what is with you you only sing Whitney when something exceptional has happened oh Maya you know I never need an excuse to pay homage to the second greatest diva of our time may she rest in peace you don't fool me I've barely seen you this week I've just been super busy getting ready to MC the fashion show what's that um, uh, uh, Becky uh, she needs to see me right away for a costume fitting she can just Text you? Uh, yeah, she's old fashioned like that. That's all for now. Bye. Get your fashion show tickets at the student council office before it's too late. The show is going to be the talk of the school. Don't miss it. Cool. I couldn't stop thinking about you. <laughs> These last few days have been incredible. I just want to shout it from the rooftops. Well, you can't. You get that, right? Well, it's just... This is serious, Tristan. You and me, wh what we've been doing has to stay a secret. You have my word. place tonight and we'll pick this up where we left off. Deal. You go first. I'll wait a few minutes and follow. Mm -hmm. I still don't know about that double turn at the end. Weird. No, no, it's okay. I saw the models do it at the Marc Jacobs show in New York. Oh, well, if they do it in New York. I'm just saying, it's industry standard. Um, why did Becky change her mind about making you a model again? Uh, she said she made a mistake. Hmm. Was her mistake not knowing how rich you are? What does that have to do with it? Maybe she's hoping to fly down to New York Fashion Week on a Hollingsworth jet. Or maybe she realized I'm a good model. Or maybe your mom slipped Becky a little donation so she could help change her mind. That's ridiculous. She wouldn't do that, right, Keish? Well, there was that one time in grade two when you magically got put at the front of the ballet recital after your mom talked to the instructor. Hey, you and that mystery guy take that trip to the basement yet? Could you zip it, Novak? Okay. What's he talking about? What guy? What's going on? Nothing. No one. Don't worry about it. So you gave yourself that giant hickey. OK. So there is something going on with you. Still. Okay, 
We're gonna send one, but it's a secret. Why, is it because he's ugly? You know, I don't judge based on looks. No, he most definitely is not ugly. And can't you mind your own business for once in your life? Sorry, Driss. Whatever, I'm happy if you're happy. Good morning, everyone. Mr. Yates? Are you, is it, oh, Tristan, are you fooling around with our English teacher? And you said it would never happen. Turn to page 46 in your textbooks. How to write a poem. I also meant it should never happen. Tristan, he's our teacher. And tear it out. You can't learn how to write a poem from a textbook. He's not like a teacher teacher. He's cool. It does not matter. He's still an authority figure. You don't get it. We're in love. Are you being serious right now? Because you sound like a cautionary tale. Poetry He's taking advantage of you, Tristan. You should tell Simpson. Miss Matlin, is there something you'd like to share with the class? No. I'm just excited about poems. That's a passion I like to see. Now, pens out. Our first exercise You have to promise simple. me you won't say anything to anyone. A memory that stands out to just you. promise me, or you're seriously dead to me. Try to think of the experience in its entirety. Yeah, okay. Promise. You give me the feeling somehow to not stop, baby. So drop, baby. I really will. Frankenstein, what's wrong? Becky gave me a modeling spot in the fashion show. Isn't that a good thing? It would be, except I don't know why she changed her mind. You don't think Mom would pay Becky to let me in, do you? <laughs> sure, sounds like her. Seriously? Yeah, Frank, she did the same thing to my little league coach, so he let me start. I did tell her how upset I was about not getting a spot. What should I do? Uh, have fun modeling. <laughs> Everyone's making fun of me for being rich. Okay, who cares what they think? If people want to make fun of you, they're gonna find a reason. Too rich, too poor, too fat, too skinny. That's depressing. Or liberating, just live your life. Or I could go confront Becky and find out the truth. Sure, or that. <sighs> Thanks, brother. There's no way I'm wearing this. It's literally garbage. You just don't get it. It's a commentary on disposable celebrity culture and refuse. You mean garbage. I'm covered in sanitary <laughs> napkins and tampons. Isn't it great? What is going on? Becky Baker, not the hero we deserve, but the hero we need. Imogen's lost her freaking mind is what's going on. Hey, what is this? I made my designs totally haute couture. Old Hollywood was classic, but celebrity is now disposable. Like garbage. Okay, you get we it? need to talk in private. Can you guys get these dresses to the gym, please? Ooh, I hear drums. Why is everyone so upset? It's that time of the month? <laughs> Imogen is literally a crazy person. I don't know how we're gonna have a freaking fashion show when she's ruined all the formal wear. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will work out. Things always do. You're rather chipper. Oh, you know, just a hot date tonight. <laughs> Ooh, juicy, do tell. Sorry, no can do. Oh, I get it. It's sexier when it's secret. <laughs> Tristan Milligan, please report to the office as soon as possible. Just a milligan to the office. What's that about? <laughs> I bet Simpson's mad about the joke I make in my monologue about his ties. Jeez, he's uptight. <laughs> but what about dress rehearsal? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure this won't take long. <laughs> so listen, can we make sure that the kids understand that the fashion show is not a spare? They have to actually show up for these things. What's going know? on? Tristan, um, come on in and have a seat. This is a giant misunderstanding. <laughs> I love your ties, Mr. Simpson. It's all in the name of comedy, I swear. Uh, this isn't about my ties. Is it the alcohol jokes? I know they're a little 
adult, but... Tristan. But if we're being totally honest with ourselves, high school kids drink, right? This isn't about the fashion show, Tristan. Tristan, I want you to be honest with me. Are you having a sexual relationship with your English teacher, Grant Yates? No. Who told you that? It doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. It's totally insane. So, Mr. Yates never performed sexual acts on you? No, absolutely not. Did he pressure you to perform sexual acts on him? He's not like that. He's like the best teacher I've ever had. You, you don't need to protect him. I'm not protecting anyone. You know I'm here to help you. I'm telling the truth. So, what's gonna happen now? Is he gonna get in trouble? Why are you worried about him? Did he threaten you? No, oh, Mr. Simpson. Did he tell you something bad would happen if anyone found out? No, I just... He seems like a nice guy. I wouldn't want him to get in trouble because someone around here is a pathological liar. So can I go now? Fine, go ahead. way stronger than you look. What are we doing out here? I wanted some privacy so I could yell at you. Now sit. <laughs> what did I do? Are you kidding me? You ruined everything. Because of the dresses, I totally made them better. No, no, you didn't. People are supposed to look good at fashion shows, remember? Now all of the formal wear looks insane. But now my designs are avant-garde and Jack will love me forever. Well, I guess it's all you care about then. Stupid Jack and whether she thinks you're cool enough. I'm sorry. What can I do? You can sit here and think about what you did. Now I have to go in and clean up your mess before the show starts. Well, let me help no, you. No, don't move from that spot. You've done enough. I can't believe this. I wore vintage Chanel to the daytime Emmys two years ago. How the mighty have fallen. At least you have the hottest one. You think? Yeah. Have you guys seen Becky? She hauled Imogen away. I'm hoping to an insane asylum. Okay. Oh, there you are, Becky. I need to talk to you. We all need to talk to you. What is being done about these abominations? Nothing. You're just gonna have to roll with the punches. You're kidding. She's kidding, right? I don't think so. Okay, guys, just get your hair and makeup checked. I need to get to the lighting table. Actually, I want to talk to you about something else. Frankie, I don't have time. Did my mom pay you to give me a modeling spot? What? Of course not. I would never accept a bribe. Then why did you change your mind all of a sudden? Winston said he'd only shoot the show for DTV if you weren't in it. He did what? He said something about it being impossible to be around you. And you agreed. I did it first, but then I felt bad, especially because you were so good, which is why I changed my mind. I just made Winston film it anyway. Look, I really need to go break legs out there. Why aren't you in the gym? I need you to see the fashion show for me. What? No, I can't. Becky's mad at me. Okay, well, I can't do it. Something's come up. Becky said I wasn't supposed to leave the spot, and she was very firm about it. It'll be awesome. They're your designs, after all. I don't know. I don't want to make things worse. Maybe this is your chance to redeem yourself. You'll be stepping up in a moment of crisis. You'll be everyone's hero. Good? Good. Thanks, Virginia, the best. Hero, you say? Go for Tristan. Wait, what? That's not Tristan. Welcome to the first annual Degrassi Fashion Show. Wait, cut the music. Cut it. <clears throat> Before we begin, I'd like to say a few words about fashion. Sometimes in fashion, we take risks. And sometimes those risks pay off, but sometimes they don't. And the people that are most important to fashion are mad at fashion for doing a dumb thing. But fashion only did it because fashion felt insecure. But now fashion is really, really sorry. 
And fashion just cares about people. And would be heartbroken if they couldn't forgive it for being an inconsiderate idiot. So, without further ado, the models. <laughs> You're a jerk, jerk. Who else would I be talking to? Yes, Becky, not to give me a modeling spot? I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> not cool. Made me think I was ugly. What? No, that's impossible. You're not ugly. You're... You're beautiful. I didn't want to be around you because I like you. Then why would you want to avoid me? You're my best friend's sister. I've known you since forever. I was worried things would just get weird. Plus, I didn't know if you actually just liked me back or not. And I don't forget, I'm a giant idiot. And Winston. And, yeah? Shut up. What about? Miles? I'll survive. I've been looking for you everywhere. You can't be here, Tristan. I can't be seen with you. No, it's OK. I've been suspended pending an investigation into an inappropriate relationship with you. How is that OK? That's impossible. I didn't tell Simpson anything. You must have told somebody. I thought you understood. I do. Well, obviously not. Because when there's any allegation whatsoever, there's an immediate suspension investigation. They asked me, but I denied everything. It's fine. It doesn't work like that. How could you be so naive? I thought I could trust you. You can, I swear. We can figure this out. No, we can't. We can't see each other anymore. And here is Zoe, the talk of the town, in an extra absorbent gown, wearing a very absorbent dress. Hopefully it does not rain. Here comes the reason I have a tummy ache right now. I did eat a great deal of these chips, just saying. They were delicious. And finally, we have Frankie in her coffee cup cocktail dress can effortlessly transition from day to dumpster diving. And that brings us to the end, everybody. Thank you so much for everyone coming. Special thank you to my choreographer, Jack Jones, and my co-coordinator extraordinaire, Becky Baker. Come on up, you guys. Come on. Anything, I'm gonna get my car might come up, Vince. I don't think I have to worry about impressing Jack anymore. Go get him, Tiger. Hi. Hey. You're pretty funny up there. I mean, you don't have to say that. <laughs> uh, question though, why did you change all your designs? The first ones you showed me were great. You said they were nice. A is that why you changed them? Because you thought I didn't like them? Maybe. I was intimidated. You're just so awesome and good at everything. You're intimidated by me. I'm intimidated by you. Why? Because you're amazing and unique and totally yourself. I've never met anyone like you, Imogen. How could you do this to me? How could you tell Simpson? Simpson, I didn't have a choice. Yes, yes, you did. You could have kept your stupid mouth shut. How could I stay silent? I was so worried about you. What? Worried I was too happy? Worried because what Mr. Heath is doing is wrong. No. Tristan, it's illegal. No, 
We're in love, and he's suspended. There's gonna be an investigation. You ruined my life. Yeah, well, it might feel like that right now, but I did all of this to protect you. No, I don't need protecting. Susan. You don't think I know what love feels like? You think you're the only one that gets to have epic romances? I want you to have that, Tristan. You can have that. I want you to have that, but not, not with him. You get to have a million guys in love with you and a perfect home, no. and I just wanted this one, one good thing. No. But you, of all people, ruined it for me. Oh, it's not like that, Tristan, please. I love you. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk to you ever again. Whatever it takes I know I can make it through And if I hold out my love I know I can make it through I know I, I know I can make it through